as a kid, I remember that Porsche Turbo 993 was that picture on my wall in the bedroom that I grew up in. It was kind of like the American dream for me to work hard, save money, and eventually being able to buy one. Both my parents are immigrants. They came here in the 70s from Hong Kong. Their upward mobility was to buy a house in Queens and that's where I ended up growing up. And that's where we've kind of attained like the American dream. We got a house, we got a fence, we got a garage. And having a car in Queens was always pretty standard. During senior year of high school, I was already driving my mom's car to school. With cars, it was just a form of freedom. And I started to work and I was able to afford my own stuff. And I kind of stuck with the Honda crowd and we started tinkering with cars. I was in this car club early on called CCMS, which was Compact Car Motorsports. Just a lot of memories going to Raceway Park, going to car shows, going to the Java Center every year with my dad, because my dad was also into cars. That's really where I formed this love of the Porsche brand. The fondest memory I had was a picture of the 993 Turbo in the Arena Red Metallic going really fast. And it says, kill bugs fast. And that would forever be in my memory. I graduated from JDM to Euros with BMWs and I had met my wife and she was driving a BMW so that we, we clicked immediately. And then from BMWs, uh, I graduated into a, a Porsche, a Audis and then Porsches. It was seemingly this unattainable vehicle, right? It's not for like the working class. It was really a pivotal point when I took a look into what I was doing with my restaurant and in hospitality where I said to myself, wow, you know, I, I think I can finally look at purchasing one and fulfilling this uh, lifelong dream of mine. I didn't get a 993 Turbo. They're super rare and they're, they're not very obtainable, but I was able to find this one, which is in the same color of the Turbo that was on the poster that I had growing up. Weekends for restaurants were always the busy time, but it wasn't until maybe two or three years ago I was able to take a step back and really dive into what I loved, which is cars. And I made it a point, especially like on a Saturday or a Sunday, to take a drive, go meet other car enthusiasts. And it kind of works hand in hand because people naturally gravitate towards eating out and dining and hospitality. I think it actually is a piece of my business, talking about cars and eating while we do this. So it's very natural to go meet other people to learn about what they do, what cars they're into, and shoot the shit with other enthusiasts over coffee. Going for long drives, it's definitely very special to me because having a car was so important as a kid. And I'm thinking like a lot of kids don't even drive cars, you know, they're like, oh, I'll, just, I'll meet you there or like, I'm going to Uber there. We're in such a futuristic world now where everything is on demand. It's on your phone, you press it and you get it. So I think this act of taking a car out, the sound of the motor, putting a car through gears is something that is almost unexplainable unless you're like a gearhead you actually see the car's odometer turn. This analog feeling is really what I love when I savor those couple of hours on a Saturday or a Sunday, taking the long way and not taking the shortcuts. And maybe the long way will involve twisties. And I have a memory of my last family trip where we drove from New York down to Tampa. And I made it a point to drive in a way where I can hit the tail of the dragon. I want to pass these memories on to my kids. I want to be able to teach them how to drive a manual. I have a lot of pride in the work that I've put in the last 10 years to finally being able to afford a classic Porsche 911. 
I think I get a rush of emotion when I think about coming from an immigrant family. Like my parents came with nothing. My dad, his first car was a taxi cab. Then my dad got a Mercedes. It was really a proud moment for him. And that's kind of looking back how our family progressed. I remember how happy my mom was when my dad bought her the Volvo 240. I remember seeing like five miles on the odometer and I remember taking my shoes off when I slid into the back seat. It's emotional to think back and see that progression. And it's just memories like that that make car ownership uh, so important for me because there's all these memories of actually making these purchases, these high dollar amount purchases to better our lives. Makes getting from point A to point B uh, that much better.